our last commute on this scooter. Let's see how many miles we're at. 225. Probably end up right around 240 on this scooter. The giveaway for TikTok is tomorrow. Overall, though, I'm happy with this scooter. Performed really well. Nothing major has broken. The bell on this scooter is awesome. So what are some of the big improvements over the 9 by Max on this? Well, the deck, for one, is huge. It allows you to have put your rear foot up like this. Put your foot up in the back. It gives you a lot more control over your scooter versus scooters that don't have a rear footrest. It really makes you feel a lot more safe and secure standing on it and maneuvering on it. How else is this better than the 9 Bob Max? Well, the price. When I originally bought mine, it was $550 on Indiegogo, and the price since then has gone up to about $900. So, this obviously has a little bit smaller battery, but for most people, I don't think you'll ever use it anyway. It's like 20 mile range is plenty, and that's what you get on this new. You can throw out the range test results I did here. I only rode it down to one bar. I didn't feel like walking it, and I got 16 miles. I'm 200 pounds, so any lighter people, you can easily reach 20 miles and more the headlight you guys can see very cool halo effect cornering on this is really nice on these tires the tires are very nice tires they're cst nine and a half inch tires this thing has dual brakes front and rear which beats the max for sure let's do a downhill brake test ready wow wow Really nice brakes compared to most scooters in this price range. It has about the same screen. This bell is much better sounding than the Max bell. This one sounds way better. And let's face it, when people hear a nice sounding bell and you're coming up behind them, it puts them in a lot better state of mind than if you have a crappy bell or if you're yelling at them or even, God forbid, honking the horn at them. <laughs> Trust me, I know. The best way to do it is with the nice sounding bell. That's how you pass people, really. If you guys know the 9 by Max at all, you've rode it for a long time, then you know that the, the folding mechanism will eventually break. It always breaks right in the middle. There's these things called a barrel nut. I'll put a picture up there. I'm actually a moderator in the 9 by Max Facebook group. We have 15,000 max users in there. And trust me, this is the most common problem here. After about 2,000 miles or so, these little bolts will crack and you'll end up with a, a, a scooter that folded in half on you or broke on you. And it's very hard to replace these little nuts and stuff, but I think that this stem and folding mechanism on the new it just seems like a better design. It doesn't have like those little tiny bolts and barrel nuts. Those barrel nuts, if you look it up, they're like used for furniture and stuff. They're not like used for vehicles. It's not like a type of screw you don't even want to put your life on, right? Well, this has a fully redesigned custom folding mechanism that it's obviously not just repurposing furniture fasteners. So I do like that about it. The folding mechanism is secure. It's obviously fast but it's it feels good i think the fenders are another huge improvement if you guys rode the max enough you rode it in rain then you know that the rear fender doesn't quite keep you dry and the rear fender likes to snap off after vibration from a long time and this can even happen as soon as a couple hundred miles so a lot of people have to buy new fenders or waste money like reinforcing it, but not on the new. Sorry, cause it's not clean yet. I've been riding this every day, but you see, the max fender would always break around this point back here because of all the weight on it. This one has less weight on it because it's bolted up top. So it's really, it's probably never gonna break off. One more cool thing I love about this scooter 
It has this little windshield. This is definitely the first scooter I know of that has a windshield. We just should talk about the one problem I have. Essentially right here, the charge port, it broke. It was originally had a spring that would push it back up. And now it doesn't. Something broke right here and then it's just not working anymore. So I have to push it up manually. It hasn't been a problem yet for me. Just be careful with the charge port cover. <laughs> it might be the weakest spot on the scooter. Which, guys, if you know me, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to find the weakest spot and tell you ahead of time so you know what you're getting into on these scooters. Every scooter's got something that breaks, I'll tell you right now. So, at the end of the day, if it's just that, I'm happy. That's a good scooter. I think new is... uh definitely putting their scooter in the market at the right price to be competitive and it's definitely a scooter that you, sh you should heavily consider buying i think also the fact it's on amazon is really nice huge thank you to new for letting me test and give away this kqi3 i will include the amazon link below in the description follow me on tiktok if you'd like to be a part of the next giveaway or if you'd like to see behind the scenes footage like riding in the rain. Thanks for watching. Scooter Gang out.